Jesus. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, glory to God. Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So the title of this particular message says, Your partner is coming to where you are. I say it again. The title of this particular message says, Your partner is coming to where you are. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now, I love this particular prophetic word because I'm going to be saying it in two ways. All right. So this is going to work as um, a personal a personal confrontation and secondly, a representative con, um, con, uh, a representative connection. Hallelujah. So I believe that this is a great season for somebody. I believe this is a great time for you to get that connection with who you're supposed to have, regardless and no matter what. God wants you happy. And whenever you're praying and you're trusting God for a miracle, he will make sure that he meets you at the very point of your needs. It doesn't matter what, how, and when, if it's in line with his will, he will make sure that he brings it out and he gives it to you. A lot of mistakes that people make is that they want to do things because they heard people did it. Now, if the Lord gave me a personal miracle through what I did, he might give you through what you did, but, and, but at the same time, he might not give you through what you did. All right. So, there are people who are going to say, oh, this is how they prayed and this was what they did. You get it. So God is, is uh, going to give another person their own breakthrough. But to another person, God might want you to do it another way. So that is in... Um, and in the Western world, there is what is called plagiarism, like you copying somebody, like this person did this exactly, and I'm copying this particular thing or what the person did, just so I can do exactly to get maybe exactly um, the same results and all that. Now, God is a just God, and what he does is sometimes he acts with us by faith. But sometimes he will give you an instruction. There is somebody who is going to meet their kingdom spouse in a particular place. For example, I can meet my kingdom spouse in, in Dubai. Another person can meet their kingdom spouse in the U.S. Another person can meet their kingdom spouse in South Africa. You get it. So, but now the thing is, there is somebody who is going to be like, oh, this person met her kingdom spouse or his kingdom spouse in Dubai. And then the person is going to be like, so maybe I want to go to Dubai so that I might meet my own kingdom spouse. But God is like, no, that's not where I want you to go to. Probably I want you to stay where you are. Or I want you to go to another place just so you can meet your kingdom spouse. You get it? So you want to act in line with what God wants. Somebody, okay, a, a very simple example that is going to explain better. There is somebody who meets their partner gets in a relationship in a dating site or a dating app there's another person who meets that person their kingdom spouse or their partner in a supermarket and all that in a park and all that you know now it does not necessarily mean that you should start going to supermarkets just so you can meet your own partner just because somebody met theirs you understand where does God want you to meet your kingdom spouse? Does God want you to stay where you are and your partner come to you where you are? Or does God want you to go out? Most of the times we are in search of what God has already given us a solution about. That's it. So there is somebody who God is wanting your own case to be different. God wants that person to meet you where you are. I'm not saying you're going to stay home and then your partner comes home. No, I'm saying that you're going to be who you are. You're going to focus and you're going to concentrate on yourself. You know, God spoke to me. He told me, 
Always focus on yourself and learn to concentrate on yourself. When you're focused on yourself, you concentrate on yourself. Your value becomes revealed. Your value becomes evidence. Your value becomes different. There are people who they are the one to go meet their partner. Now, what am I saying? Sometimes you can just sit and then the Lord maybe does something or lay something in your heart to call somebody or to go to a particular place. And you might not know the reason why you're going to that particular place, but going to that particular place, not knowing that that is where you had to meet with your partner or that connection. So sometimes you don't have to withhold yourself when God is saying, do this. When God is saying, initiate this call. You don't have to have the mind of, I'm initiating this call for, to, for this person to be my partner. No, I'm saying you're acting according to divine direction sometimes we might not know how but god is just leading us there is somebody god wants you to be yourself be yourself be that amazing person be that kind-hearted person be that good person that you are your partner is coming to where you are but you have to be prepared and you have to be ready your partner might come to the place where you are not knowing that he's coming to look for you so he can only get that attraction and that connection with you and then he can only get the confirmation that this is my partner you get it or she she is my partner or he is my partner but if you are not well if you're not looking well if you're not work if you've not worked on yourself your partner is going to come to where you are and still not see you and still not meet you or meet somebody else so your partner is coming to where you are and why is this prophetic word coming take good care of yourself focus on you be healthy be good be open hallelujah when um, Abraham wanted Isaac a wife, what did he do? He sent messengers. The messengers met the wife of Isaac, who was Rebecca. And that is what is about to happen to somebody. Either somebody is going to meet you and connect you to another person, or somebody is going to meet you for themselves. I pray for you. Let it be a divine connection between you and your partner. In Jesus' name, amen. Somebody type it on the comment section. Connect yourself. Make that confession. Say, I receive a divine connection between me and my partner. In Jesus' name, type it again and keep confessing that in the name of Jesus. Amen. Please do not forget to like and share. This is the kind of word that you have to share to as many people as possible to be sensitive and to connect themselves. Don't forget to subscribe. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Please do not forget to pray for me as the Spirit of the Lord will lead you. Please always pray for me. God bless your hearts. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now, may the Lord bless you. May he keep you. May he cause his face to shine on you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord. Nothing missing. Nothing broken. I love you so much. I do. I love you. God bless you amazingly. And God bless you abundantly. I love you so much. Shalom.